start recording and then let us go through this where is my text yeah okay so give the heading today the spring force let us start this so we understood tension normal everything uh, then all these kind of things okay and then we are going to jump on to a particular case which we also call it as spring force are you able to get me or not okay and a little bit of this thing this problem of tension i'll do by a method of integration also okay i'll tell you how to do it later on We'll take one class. I told you yesterday. I reminded you that I'll take one class. How to divide the particular things, which will help us in center of mass and moment of inertia. We'll look into this particular special class. Okay, and we'll put in a very fresh way, so that we can have a great grasp of this topic. Is that clear or not? Okay. So now give the heading spring force. Let us come on to a spring force. Now. Let's try to see what is going to be called as a spring force. Okay. Now, as I know, let us suppose that this is my vertical wall. Okay. There is a wall, and with this wall, I took one spring. Okay. And basically, I attached that spring with a block of mass. Okay. Okay. Let me just make it small. So I took one spring. I attached that with a block of mass m over here. Are you able to get me? Now the concept arises over here is that at this instant of time, this spring is it at its natural length? What kind of length it is? Yes. Natural length means जैसे जैसे मान लो स्प्रिंग तुमने ऐसे पकड़ा हुआ है बस स्प्रिंग के सब कुछ अभी खिलवाड़ नहीं यार एबल टू गेट मी और नॉट नाउ यू अप्लाइड अ फोर्स ऑन दिस स्प्रिंग व्हाट डू यू डीड यू अप्लाइड अ फोर्स यू अप्लाइड एन एक्सटर्नल फोर्स सो व्हेन आई अप्लाई एक्सटर्नल फोर्स दिस स्प्रिंग विल गेट स्ट्रेचड इजंट इट डेफिनेटली दिस स्प्रिंग विल गेट स्ट्रेचड एंड विल गो ओवर हियर so now whichever this spring was over there this spring will stretch from the natural length and then it the block will come over here or not yes 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 sir now, the question arises that till what point it will expand we do not know it can do a maximum expansion also it can do a little bit of expansion also it can break after some expansion also isn't it but yes. right now when it is at expanded form and then if i look over here if i try to see so at that instant of time the spring is trying to if if you look at the spring what the spring is doing the spring is trying to always go back over here or not yes yes spring is always trying to go back means when you did a displacement let us call this displacement to be x okay Let's call this displacement from the natural length to be equal to how much x. अब तू कुछ yeah that is extension from the natural length or you can say displacement of mass from natural length point. Are you able to get me or not? What is x? Displacement of the particle from the natural length point. Are you able to get me or not? So, ध्यान से देख जरा. अगर अगर ये अगर इस मास m को मैंने x distance displace किया. If I just displace this mass m by x distance. अब तुम सोचो जरा एक बार. वो तुमने वो बचपन में वो rubber band वाला खेला है क्या? जैसे मान लो अगर rubber stretch करके दूसरे के शरीर पर से मारते हैं, है ना? वो खेला है क्या? तो देखो तो rubber rubber अगर जरा सा खींचो और जितना ज्यादा जितना ज्यादा जोर से खींचते हो रबड़ को जितना ज्यादा खींचते हो उतना ही ज्यादा चोट लगता है है ना तो इसका मतलब क्या चल रहा है कि जितना ज्यादा मैं दूर तक खींच रहा हूं उतना ज्यादा रिस्टोरिंग फोर्स है या नहीं है यहां 
पे बेसिकली वो क्या रहा है कि जैसे ही हम इस ब्लॉक को इस एफ एक्सटर्नल के हटा के यहाँ से रिलीज करेंगे क्या करेंगे रिलीज द ब्लॉक विल ऑलवेज गो बैक विथ सम काइंड ऑफ वेलॉसिटी Yes, that means some kind of force is acting in this particular direction, and that is nothing but a restoring. किस तरह की force है ये? And is this force is dependent upon the particular displacement? Now look over there. The force is in left side, while the displacement was in right side. So this 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 force is directly proportional to negative of displacement or not? so if i remove this proportionality we bring a constant which we call it as k and that is fs is represented as minus of kx are you able to get me or not so spring force if i write by just arrow then this fs will be written as kx because already you have taken it towards left but if you include the direction of displacement you have to write fs is equal to minus of kx is that clear and that is why this restoring force has a special name and we call this restoring force by a name of the spring force yeah are you able to get me is that clear now look into this spring if i look into this spring the one of the most important condition is that when is the spring at rest अगर if I look into the spring, that spring need to be at a rest somewhere over there or not? Yes. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, like uh, let us let us take an example. Let us take an example of this. That let us I took one spring, a vertical spring, and with that I attached a block of mass here. Okay. So. The block has mass m, and this is my spring over here. Are you good? Are you able to get me now? The spring constant is how much k? So what will happen? As you know that the particular weight of this block m will try to pull this spring downwards or not? When it will be pulling it downwards, what will happen? It is going down, 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 and suddenly its velocity will become how much? Zero. Yes, suddenly its velocity will become how much zero? Are you able to get me now? So many many people will think that its velocity is zero when this block comes down. When this block comes down, and there is a point where what happens as the spring is also getting stretched over here. There is a point somewhere over here. Such that the upward spring force. Many people will think that the point where upward spring force balances my weight at that point the velocity will be zero. But this is totally incorrect. Are you able to get me or not? This is see many people. What you will think that the velocity of this block is zero when the spring force is exactly equal to mg. No, that will be your. Uh, that see when when I when I when I can be stopped when my re repelling force will be balanced by my uh, up uh, like forward motion force, isn't it? Yes, that's what will people think that if this forward motion force is balancing my opposite force, then at that time the particular velocity will be zero. But that does not mean like that. That's an assumption. But what is actually happening? Think over there. as the body is going down as the body is going down it started from zero velocity isn't it so when it is going down the spring force is suddenly getting increasing or not it is slowly increasing dheere 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 badh raha hai nahi badh raha badh raha to wo badhega 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 ek point pe aayega jahan pe spring force barabar mg hoga ya nahi hoga होगा तो लेकिन ध्यान से देख उस पॉइंट में बढ़ते 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 ऐसा क्या हो उसमें ऐसा थोड़ी ना होगा कि मेरी एम जी की वैल्यू जीरो हो गई जीरो थोड़ी ना होगी डाउनवर्ड फोर्स मेरा जीरो हुआ क्या एक्चुअली में नहीं बोल है ना तो नीचे की एक्सेलरेशन ऑल दो देर इज अ डिक्रीजिंग इन एक्सेलरेशन बट स्टिल माई समेशन इज प्रेजेंट और नॉट 
सो इट विल इंक्रीज माई फिलोसफी आर यू गेट मी ऑन मेरी बात समझ में आ रही है देख मैं एक बार आई लाइक मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड अच्छा ध्यान से अभी अभी ये ब्लॉक को यहाँ पर रख दिया ऐसे बता रहा हूँ मैं ये ब्लॉक यहाँ पे अच्छा पहले एक बात बताओ एक एक, एक चीज मेरे को बात बताओ पहले ये स्टेटमेंट ट्रू है या फॉल्स पहले बताना इफ द एक्सेलरेशन डिक्रीजेस देन वेलोसिटी ऑल्सो डिक्रीजेस Think once again, and then you tell me whether it is true or false. Hmm. It is true or false. It's true. I'll try. You look over here for the case. Right? There is a car. Okay. Now for this car, it started with a velocity of zero velocity, and over here the acceleration was five meter per second square. Okay, and after three three seconds, after three seconds, the car came over here, and at this point its velocity is. Uh, I do not know. Means consider it to be. Uh, we find the velocity. And this time is how much? Three is equal to this gap is three seconds. Okay. At this instant, suddenly what I am doing? I am decreasing its acceleration over here. And I am putting that acceleration to be right now two meter per second square. And then once again for the car, car which travels for how much time? T is equal to three second. I look over here. Its velocity. Tell me what are these velocity one and velocity two? Can you tell me? Is it easy enough? Between this and this point, velocity is final velocity. I want acceleration is known, time is known. So can I apply v is equal to u plus a? So v is equal to u is how much zero? Acceleration is five and time is how much three? So that is how much? Fifteen meter per second. So here my velocity is how much? Fifteen meter per second. Now once again I travel with this fifteen. For this v to fifteen meter per second has become initial velocity. Are you able to get me or not? So I can write v two is equal to fifteen plus acceleration remains positive only two into three. How much is this? V two is equal to three to the six. That means twenty one meter per second. Velocity has decreased or increased? It is. It is increasing. So this statement. This statement is false. Are you able to get me or not? So what's the meaning of this? Why imagine it? Basically, you are. What is acceleration, beta? Acceleration is nothing. If acceleration is zero, that means velocity is constant, isn't it? Yes. But if the acceleration is positive, that means that velocity will always increase. It does not means acceleration is what rate of change of velocity. That means if our acceleration is one meter per second square, that means velocity will increase by only one meter per second. Are you able to get me? If our acceleration is two, velocity will increase by how much meter per second square? Two meter per second square. So if your velo if your acceleration was five initially, at that time the velocity was increasing at what rate? Five meter per second square. When you put your acceleration to be two meter per second square, that means the velocity is increasing now at the rate of two meter per second square. Are you able to get me or not? But the velocity increase means whatever was the increasing thing, it will be always there when and when my acceleration is positive. Remember that when acceleration is positive, that means velocity always increases. Always increases in forward direction. When acceleration is negative, then my velocity decreases in forward direction.
and when the acceleration is zero, then only this means that velocity remains constant. So to decrease the velocity, you need to apply a brake, which actually creates a retardation. Are you able to get me or not? Are you able to understand me? So these are the main meanings of acceleration for the case of velocity. A is equal to B minus U by T means that thing only. Acceleration is nothing but the rate of increase in velocity. Acceleration means rate of increase in velocity with respect to time. What is retardation? Retardation is denoted by A only. It is negative of B minus U by T. This is going to be called as retardation. That means rate of decrease in velocity. So these are the two definitions. Are you able to get me or not? Is that clear? So that means that's what I'm saying. Here my force was mz. And right now the body starts to get displaced. So the spring force is going to get developed. Okay. Now as the body is moving forward, 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 suddenly a time comes. Then this mz is balanced by my backward spring force. Till that time, the mz was in forward direction or not. So look over here, as I see, this is nothing but a case of same thing which I discussed to you earlier, that in front direction, acceleration is what? Decreasing. Yes, isn't it? Because the backward force is increasing or not, are you able to get me? So if the acceleration decreases, does it mean that velocity will decrease? No, the velocity will become maximum only. It is not a point where the velocity is zero. It is a point of maximum velocity. Are you able to get me or not? V max. V max. Is that clear? Now from here, the further expansion. Now what will happen? Force maximum. Yes, not zero velocity. People think that it is a point of zero velocity. And this is called as equilibrium condition also. People think that at equilibrium, the velocity must be zero, but at equilibrium, the velocity is basically maximum. Are you able to get me or not in a spring case? Yes. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Understood. So then the question arises that, that when this velocity will zero. Now, as it move further now, the further, since the velocity is maximum, the body is going down over here or not? Look over here. The body is going where? Down. So this... As it will go further down, 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 the spring force will start dominating. Yes, sir. yes, and a point will come when the body, the expansion from this natural length will be maximum. Consider it to be most downward point. Okay. When the expansion is my maximum expansion, then might that time will appear. This is a point of, sorry, maximum expansion where my velocity might be zero and that we use that we apply the after that we'll learn in next chapter that how to find this x max and that is done by the energy conservation are you able to get me okay now since this velocity is maximum over here or not and the body is in yeah. what motion vertical motion Yes. So what will happen after that? Basically, look over here. I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to draw the diagrams. Do not take tension. This is my mass. This came to equilibrium condition. And then it's third stage. Okay. See the all the stage properly. This was the condition when the body was at, body was released, yes. Body came to a point where the spring force balances what? Mz and this is a point of maximum velocity. Are you able to get me or not? 
as you have maximum velocity and you are under a free fall is it possible that you will be stopped no na so what you will do what you will go start going further downwards or not now as you go downwards the spring force will start increasing or not yes the displacement will become much 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 more bigger or not look over here as you are going down the displacement is becoming bigger isn't it so the spring force increases as you move downwards are able to get me about so then from this natural point there will be a time or there will be a time where the spring force will be that much maximum that this mg is not going to meet anything la bol raha hai so over that what will happen the spring force will fully dominate and the velocity will become how much zero are able to get me about so it does not becomes at a point where fs is equal to mc it, it becomes at a point where the what happens maximum expansion ha uh, because after that further expansion can't happen and the force of the spring becomes maximum as you know because of ex maximum expansion where the mc is not going to do anything are able to get me about so the question arises that how to find this v uh, x max isn't it ha huh, so that we will learn in which chapter work energy and power by applying energy conservation we are going to learn so and right now you just understand that at equilibrium the velocity is not zero but it is how much maximum and then you understand if the acceleration decreases velocity increases it does not mean that velocity will also decrease are you able to get me or not yes mujhe aaya pila yes is this clear or not totally ठीक है चलो तो आगे बढ़े क्या अपन <coughs> चलो तो रुको भैया लेट अस कंसीडर वन केस ऑफ स्प्रिंग ओके लेट्स टेक वन टेबल एंड ऑन दिस टेबल अटैच टू पुलिस ऑन टू साइड्स ओके and in this them attach a in center a spring balance attach a mass of 4 kg over here and on this mass of 2 kg is that clear okay so let us suppose this is my spring balance the question is this is 4 kg this is 2 kg question is find the reading of a spring balance Are you able to get me? Yeah. Do it fast. Two minutes more.
tell me yes is it is it that you told correct basically write one point that is spring balance if someone ask you find the reading of a spring balance remember that you have to find the reading of then tension you have to find the tension in that thread okay got it or not ha huh. so if you can find the tension in the thread then basically you can find the what a spring balance reading are you able to get me yeah yes do it then yeah done how much you are getting 160 160 One sixty by three. Okay, let me let me just check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Free body diagram. This that those normal tension tension. Spring balance. Just see. It's three length of spring balance. No. Okay. Pulley block system. Yes. Okay. So now look over here. If I want to find the reading of a spring balance, see over here. I told you the reading of a spring balance nothing but reading of a spring balance is nothing but a measurement of tension, isn't it? So when you are going to find the tension, look over here. How to find that? Uh, once again, I'll have to use equations of motion. so weight is what to do weight is down for z and then what you have to treat is that from here to here see this end we will see that we will think that since there are two threads it's not like that you we are considering which kind of spring balance massless which kind of spring balance massless so we will remove this spring balance and think like that the string is attached to one are you able to get me So this, let's suppose the tension is t. So this will go down with acceleration a, and this will go up with yeah. kind of acceleration a. This will be once again tension t, and this will be the weight two z downwards. Are you able to get me on? So what is what is going to be my equation for the four kg? Four z minus tension t is equal to how much? Four a. For two for two kg, what will be the equation? T minus two z equal to two a. Are you able to get me? Is that clear? So once again, tension tension got cancelled. Four z minus two z is how much? Two z, and that is how much? Six a. So acceleration is nothing but how much? Similarly, just g by three. Are you able to get me or not? Put in any of the equations, you will get the tension or not. So basically, how much will be that? T is equal to two z plus two g by three. So that is nothing but three to the six eight z by. Three newton. Are you able to get me or not? So this is my tension. Are you able to get me? Is that clear? So basically, it's easy. Hard is easy. Easy is easy. So if if we give a spring, then we don't have to be afraid. We do not have to. I mean, we don't have to be afraid. 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 We don't have Okay, so now let us do one special case of the spring, and that we call it as cutting down of the spring. Okay, just like we have thread to cut, did you know? Yes. So now we will cut the spring. Okay. 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 या एक बात तो फ्रिक्शन को फिर से अच्छे से पढ़ाना पड़ेगा शुरुआत से स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन सब कुछ बेसिक से पूरा नहीं आता है ना उसके ऊपर हाँ ठीक ही रहेगा उसके ऊपर न्यूमेरिकल अच्छे से बता दूंगा वो थोड़ा जल्दी हो गया था तो उसके ऊपर दो क्लास ले लूंगा तो बेस्ट हो जाएगा है ना ठीक तो मान लो ये एक स्प्रिंग हो गई और ये स्प्रिंग एक पर्टिकुलर ब्लॉक से अटैच है अच्छा क्वेश्चन दे रहा मजा है क्वेश्चन बनाने में ठीक फिर एक दूसरी स्प्रिंग है जो कि दूसरे ब्लॉक से अटैच है 
how many springs are there two how many springs two okay so this is my spring one this is my spring two this is my two kz and this is my mm, what i should consider mm. okay four kz okay are you able to get me or not the spring constant is same okay the question is uh, first case find the expansion in the find the expansion in both springs okay pehle ye nikalo find the expansion in the both springs and second find the acceleration of 2 kg block at the instant when we cut the second spring do it fast tell me how to do it not 3 minutes of time बताओ जल्दी से कितना होगा नथिंग लाइक दैट थिंक वंस अगेन विल बी एबल टू रिप्लाई इट So, you know, find the expansion in both spring when the system is in equilibrium. When the system is in equilibrium. Hmm. So what will happen at that instant of time? You have to tell me. कितना होगा के एक्स इज इक्वल टू ओके हाँ करेक्ट सो हम कैसे मानेंगे करेक्ट है और सेकेंड के लिए क्या लिखूंगा सो दिस फोर के जी विल जनरेट स्प्रिंग फोर के Spring force k into x or not at equilibrium? Yeah. Now that same spring force will be applied from the upward direction. Now I told you. Acha, I didn't mention. You know, the spring force जो होती है, वो मैंने तो सबसे पहले बताया था कौन सी force होती है? Contact force. 
और कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स का क्या प्रॉपर्टी होता है कि दर भी इक्वल एंड अपोजिट पेयर ऑफ द फोर्सेस और नॉट तो अगर मान लो ये स्प्रिंग फोर्स है या तो फ्रॉम द वॉल देयर विल बी अनदर स्प्रिंग फोर्स एफ एस और नॉट यस सो नाउ लुक ओवर हियर सो ओवर हियर वन अगेन वन अनदर सेम स्प्रिंग फोर्स मान लो इन दिस द एक्सपेंशन इज ए एक्सपेंशन इज हाउ मच ए ओके और आई एम कंसीडरिंग इट टू बी सेकंड स्प्रिंग सो कंसीडर के एक्स टू सो दिस विल आल्सो एक्सपीरियंस अ फोर्स ऑफ के एक्स टू और नॉट Yes, and that will be nothing. Will be applied with the weight of two z, and that will be balanced at equilibrium by a force of what? K x one. Are you able to get me or not? Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yeah. Totally. Totally. So basically, can I write that K x two is how much? Four into ten, and Consider it to be. Let us consider that K is given 50 newton per meter. So x2 is equal to how much? 40 by 50. So that is 0.8 meters. Are you able to get me or not? Yeah. Now similarly, if I write for the first one, the equation will become what? K x1 is equal to K x2 plus 2z. And K x2 is how much? 40. 40 plus 20. So k x1 is equal to how much? 60. So x1 is equal to how much? 60 by 50. That is 1. Point, uh, we'll be left with 1.2 meters. Are you able to get me or not? Yeah. Is that clear? Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Do the second question of this. Find the acceleration of two kg block at the instant when we cut the second spring. Okay, so let us take the second phase and draw the same line down. Yeah, ma, 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 ma. You know, I wanted to be a singer, but those NIT guys, I never, I'll never ever forgive them. They told me I have a tone of bello, and they thrown me out of the induction table. Right or not? So when you go to a college, you have, you will have an induction. Okay, I mean introduction. You can say I do not know what's that appropriate meaning. My English is worst. Okay, so basically that's called as like they will call all the phrases. and then they will give him them the options to select any of the arts and culture department or any of the clubs over there okay yeah so i went for music and arts club yeah i tried so first they will take the test of you means they will ask you some question or they will tell you to sing some song okay they told me to sing a song and after that they reviewed me that i sing like a buffalo and they told me get lost from me word or not buffalo what so ever it is you know then you know one thing then i thought i'll not sing but i'll learn the guitar or something like that you know what they gave me they in, in that bhajans and all you have seen that they have that jhal kind of thing isn't it they told me you are going to learn that jhal and whenever there will be a drama or a skit in the particular uh, college you are going to sit in the back of those all those guys and you are going to beat that <laughs> so do you know that like in dramas or a skit they play the jhal and all in the back right or not yeah yeah so they give me that uh, that opportunity i left both of the opportunity that turned my dream into hopeless thing god right or not that's so bad for you guys So now look over here. Weight V is once again 4z. The upward force was kx1. Here was 2z, and then the force was kx1, and upward over here kx2. When the spring was attached, we had a relation that kx2. Sorry, oh, this. I think that's the kx2. Uh, I I just changed the variables. 
two two one. Yeah. Okay, next one was sum of k x two plus two z, which was nothing but six z. Are you able to get me or not? So when when you when you had this system in equilibrium, the upward spring force is balancing a weight of actually how much six z. Are you able to get me? Now what you did? Cut it this another spring. You just delete it. So when you just delete it, what will happen? This spring force will get lost. Yes, sir. So on two k z. At that instant of time, upward force was acting how much? Six g. Its weight is how much? That was two g. Are you able to get me or not? So the body will accelerate. Yeah, the x one will be equal to two g. No. Are you able to get me? Ha ha ha. Why it will be equal to two g? At that instant, I have asked. When I am thinking of that instant, this this spring was at expanded position or not? So that's why it will have still the spring force six g. When it will go to a level of such a position that it can balance as k x one is equal to two g, that will appear over there. Are we able to get me? But then to reach over there. Yes. Listen me. Listen me perfectly. अच्छा एक बार बोलो सुनो मेरा ध्यान से सुनो. हिंदी में समझा तो अच्छे से. बहुत हो गई इंग्लिश की बात. ध्यान से सुनो. अब समझ में आ रहा है इंग्लिश में क्वास है मेरी ध्यान से देखो तो बेसिकली अभी बॉडी किस पोजीशन पर है एक्सपैंडेड है एकदम बड़ा और यहाँ पे इसको दोनों तरफ से पहले एक फोर्स खींच जा रहा है टू जी और अभी इधर से इधर फोर्स लग रहा है फोर जी एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो जो बेटा स्प्रिंग फोर्स एक्सपैंड होके जो एक्सपेंसर मान लो इसका नेचुरल लेंथ यहाँ पे था कहाँ पे था यहाँ पे तो यहाँ से ये जो इतना एक्सपैंड हुआ है वो किस फोर्स के वजह से हुआ सिक्स जी फोर्स के वजह से तो स्प्रिंग फोर्स यहाँ पे कितना होगा सिक्स जी है ना अब जैसे ही तुमने इस फोर जी को डिलीट किया तुमने फोर जी को क्या कर दिया अभी डिलीट सिक्स जी डिलीट होगा क्या ये एक्सपेंशन डिलीट होगी क्या एट दैट इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम नो ना तो इसके वजह से स्प्रिंग इट विल बी सिक्स जी when it will be becoming 2g when what will happen when it will come to such a position and such a expansion that the spring force balances only 2g but that distance is this much distance away over here or not so till that time it will have upward acceleration bol hai yes sir yes so that's what we are asking to find the acceleration at that instant of time so if i look for the acceleration at that instant of time for 2 kg block acceleration will be how much upward force Minus downward force divided by the mass which is moving. So four z divided by two. That is nothing but twice z meter per second square. But if I look at the four kg mass, this is the acceleration of two kg mass. Acceleration of four kg will be all how much downward force is four z, and the mass is mass is also four. So that is nothing but g meter per second square. Are you able to get me? Is that clear? Understood everything. Okay, can I move ahead? Okay, one minute. Now, right, one more question. Right, one more question. Let's consider a question. Okay. Yeah. क्रैक इट Basically, I was they tried too much, too hard to teach me English. But you know, in every English exam of mine, I, no, no, means I I'll tell you one thing, and in every exam of English, you know, I have a scored either hundred or excellent, and my English was worst, and my speaking English is worst. But 
Like in my 10th, I have a scored 10 CGPA in English. In my 12th, almost around 98. In my master's, excellent grades. You know, excellent grades. She gave me excellent grades. That too in front of humanities department. Set. Okay. Now, this is my case. I attach with the pulley two blocks plus one block system clipped on a smooth horizontal table. The question is same. That find the acceleration of system and the expansion in this spring. Find acceleration of blocks. and expansion in this way. To be fast. Yeah. What's the value of K? What's the value of K? Uh, consider it to consider K to be fifteen newton newton per meter. What is the acceleration of the system modulating? Mm -hmm. First of all, all the blocks will move with same acceleration. Right? So how to find it? Now, you see the system. First of all, see the system. Is it possible that the bodies will move with a different different acceleration? I used to also think like that. You only. Uh, all the blocks will move with different different acceleration. But whatsoever happens, 2 kz and 1 kz will have same acceleration. First of all, identify that, isn't it? Yeah. And when the spring will be stressed, I'm not considering at the condition when the spring is not stressed. We are considering at a condition when the spring is in equilibrium condition. All the blocks will be experiencing the same kind of acceleration or not. Understood. So if 3kg goes down with acceleration, 2kg will come down with acceleration and the block 1kg will feel also the same acceleration and that acceleration must be equal to what? Net pulling force. So for 3z, 3kg, the net pulling force is 3z. For 2kg, is 2z and the spring force will once again get cancelled, tension T will get cancelled or not. So net pulling force has become how much? 3z plus 2z divided by how many masses are getting pulled? 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3. That is 50 by 6 meter per second square. That's all. That's your acceleration. Are you able to get me? Yeah. 
Is that clear? Find the expansion in the spring. That's another nice question. अब ये जो चीज है वो तो मैं आंसर दे देगा अब देखो सोचो जरा थ्री जी नीचे है तो इसके जब एक्सपैंड हो जाएगा तो इसके ऊपर एक एक्स फोर्स लगेगा या नहीं लगेगा बट एट दैट इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम इट हैज ओनली द एक्सेलरेशन ये और ना तो इक्वेशन में लिख सकता हूं ना थ्री जी माइनस के एक्स इज इक्वल टू नथिंग बट थ्री इंटू एक्सेलरेशन ए आर एबल टू गेट मी सो दैट इज नथिंग बट थ्री जी इज इक्वल टू Acceleration is nothing but 5g by 6. Are you able to get me or not? And that is my yeah. x. Is that clear? Yeah. Understood. So 3 into 10 minus 3 into 50. Uh, you can you can just try it in terms of g only. But let me check in terms of g. What is that? Uh, 18g minus 15g divided by 6. हाय भी आप तो भी मैं बस क्लास ले लूँ क्लास लेके आप वो फॉलो करने क्या हाँ ठीक तो 18 जी माइनस 15 जी बाय 6 इज़ इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी यस 15 इनटू एक्स आर एबल टू गेट मी ऑन नॉट सो दैट इज़ 3 जी बाय 6 इनटू 1 बाय 15 इज़ इक्वल टू एक्स दैट इज़ 3 टू जस 6 and that becomes how much? Uh, 10, 10 cancel. 5 plus 10. That is 0 0.1 meter. So x is equal to nothing but 0 0.1 meters. Are you able to get me? Is that yes? Yeah. yeah. Understood? Yeah. Understood? Yeah. Are you able to pick it up? Yes. Confirm? Okay, so uh, we did almost each and every type of all these kind of problems, spring and all attached systems and all. Uh, tomorrow I'll be little bit including some more little bit of difficult problems and then I'll finish this topic of NLM without the friction and then two classes of friction I'll require. Are you able to get me or not? Yeah. Understood. Any kind of doubt till now? No. Okay, then let us stop this and then mark the answer key.